Hey Aries, thanks for tuning into my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading. We will be looking at the messages for you for the week ahead. But before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely amazing. And if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so via the join button on the homepage of my channel. And what that's going to give you is a subscription each month to members only content and also any um, access to like bonus readings or extended versions. Um, you'll get access to all those um, things. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for Aries. Okay, six of wands, you're going places. I'm seeing a lot of movement around a situation here, Aries. Okay, king of wands, definitely. Okay, and the king of swords could be an air sign. Okay. I, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, okay. King of Swords has his back turned to you. So I feel like uh, some of you are in a position where someone isn't talking to you um, or they've turned their back on you. This could be like a block. Um, to be honest, I feel like you're going places or the initiation is coming from you. So some of you have to like initiate to talk to this person again. Um, they're in their mind right now and they're being stu super stubborn about a situation. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, King of Wands, you're going to have to take matters into your own hands here, Aries. I feel for a lot of you, you're being pushed out of your comfort zone with this person. But hear me out. I think it's a good thing because they're challenging you to be different. Because how you were with other people, they're not going to put up with it. They're different. Uh, they think different. They act different. They have different goals. And you're starting to see that. But... To be honest, I feel like it's a good thing for you. I do. I feel like it's really showing where this is going. Um, now, the Six of Wands is the victory card. So, and we have this twin image. So, this very much could be a twin flame connection that you have here. For some of you, it could be a Gemini with the twins, Gemini energy. Um, so, you're actually... Because this is this notion of twins is coming up, it's telling me that you're actually very similar to this person underneath it all. You actually have more similarities than you think you do, um, or you're actually very similar than you think, okay? Because some of you are thinking this person's way different. Do I want to be with them? Mm. You know, you're in your mind, you're in a couple of uh, like two minds about this person, but they have something, they have something to teach you. It could very well be a karmic link that I'm picking up here as well uh, between you and them. But I feel like you're going to be doing the chasing here. It's not them. Okay, for some of you, this person is, is moving forward already. King of Swords is looking into the future to the right-hand side. For some of you, you may be starting to feel like this person is slipping through your fingers, right? Like they've met someone new. They could be talking to someone new. Uh, or they could be seeing what other options there are around them. Um, if you want to make this better, Aries, I feel like you're going to have to step up and do it. Okay? You're going to have to swallow your pride. You're going to have to suck it up. And you're going to have to do it. I mean, obviously, it depends how bad you want this person. Obviously, if you don't, you won't. Okay, Ace of Wands, definitely you. Uh, okay, they're very attracted to you or you're very attracted to them. Um, um, a lot of you Aries are attracted to this person because of how they look, okay? That physical appearance is really hooking you in. Um, a very strong attraction. I'm getting strong chemistry. There could also be someone new coming up around you, but I think some of you Aries are still focused on this person. And I don't know if it's an ego thing. You don't want them moving on. You don't want them finding someone else. Just sort of, you're not done with them yet, Aries, I don't think. Okay, Queen of Wands. Leo has come through. Okay, could be a Leo that you're dealing with here as well. I'm getting something playful coming up. Okay, Aries. Some of you have this person on your mind and eventually I think you do want to patch up things or you want to speak. 
uh, or you want to take more initiative to know, to tell them that you're interested, right? But what I'm getting from this also is that I just had a mental blank. I was getting something. I swear I was. <laughs> what was it? Uh, yeah, so you're, I think this might be someone you're keeping on the back burner because someone new might come along and you're going to be very attracted to that person. And some of you are going to have this Queen of Wands is a sexually charged energy. So I get for some of you, you're going to have this side, side person here, side girl, side guy to distract you from this person, which eventually in like your mind, you're like, yeah, eventually I want to reconnect with them or I want to speak again or I want to see where they're at, but not right now. It's like you're delaying it for some reason. I don't know who this Ace of Wands is. Could it be potential for something more? Yes, but I think because it's focused more on attraction, I don't know how emotionally invested you're going to be in that. Whereas with this, whoever this energy is, um, doesn't have to be an air sign, but whoever this other person is, you're more, um, they challenge you more than this other person would. This other person is just for a good time. They're here for a good time, not for a long time right but the other one is the one you want i feel but you're delaying it you're putting it in the future uh, or i don't know you, you're maybe waiting for like to to mull over things and your pride's getting in the way and your ego and maybe you're waiting you know for yourself you're trying to be patient going when i'm ready i'm going to reach out to them like i'm not going to chase them right away it could be an ego thing uh, because leo is here um but you're going to be like protective over this. I don't know who you're being very protective over. To be honest, I think you're going to be more protective over this person. People might, like your friends or family might be like, where are they? What do they do? Like, but you're going to defend them. I see you defending this person's actions, which is obviously saying something. Let's read into that a little bit more. What's really going on here, Aries, because you're still defending them. And someone might hit a nerve, like your friend might say, Oh, don't worry about them. You don't need them anymore. Or how come you don't hang out with so-and-so and you're going to like jump to their defense? I see you doing that. Uh, I'm not surprised. But yeah, I just feel like you're, you've put this person a little bit on the back burner here and I'm wondering why you've done that or what, what the intention was here. I'm confused by some sort of master plan that you have that you're not telling me about. I can't seem to can't seem to wrap my head around it, but strong twin flame vibes here, Aries. You don't want to ignore this connection. Um, I do see you speaking again because I'm getting strong Gemini energy, which is communication. A message is coming, uh, and I think you might be able to sort things out through there. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up there, um, Aries. So. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead um, and I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget. Um, and also feel free to become a member and you'll get access to all those lovely um, extra videos. Otherwise, take care, Aries, all the best and bye for now.